Yeah, DeAndre, just that big first half uh, seemed like the best you guys looked like some of the best basketball you guys have played all year. Just what was kind of working for you there? Uh, we, emphasize, we emphasize on uh, defend no matter what. So uh, we just wanted to come in, lock in, and uh, defend no matter what, really. We had all the signs around. We had probably about like 200 signs that say defend no matter what. So we were just super locked in. And we wanted to uh, get a good win and tired of losing. Bringing it back? Yes, sir. 200 signs, is that literal or just kind of, are you, are you messing with Literal. <laughs> like where are they all around? At the, at the all, all around, locker room, <laughs> walk in. Oh, this all in our all chairs in the locker room. Yeah, all around. Hey, you're a new guy. We're just seeing all this. Just uh, it's kind of what they had last year a little yeah. bit. Just uh, kind of hit you in the face there, didn't it? Yeah, he talks about it sometimes, but he really emphasized it today, and he's probably going to do it the rest of the year. Yeah, just that defense. The effort on defense looked great all night, uh, holding them to 19 percent in the first half. Just, uh, just kind of what was working. Did you, was it effort? What just what was it for you guys? Uh, more effort, more energy. Uh, I felt like we was playing together, and uh, that was like our best hand we played uh, all season. How nice is it too, just when the shots are going? Because you've had some games this year where they haven't fallen, and in the first half, everything was going down. It's always nice when shots fall in, but uh, we wanted to uh, definitely emphasize on the defense because we know offense will always be there, but uh, defense, we just need to emphasize on that and keep working on that and practicing and just getting better as a team. You were able to get to the line there a lot in the second half. Uh, a couple big runs by Valpo that seemed like they were going to try to make the game closer, but you always seem to be there to end it with a, by driving to the basket and getting fouled. Uh, did you put emphasis on trying to do that tonight? Uh, I said they was playing me up really close, so it's kind of hard to stop somebody when you're playing all the way up on them. So just driving to the basket, trying to draw fouls, and get to free the line. Did you think you were going to get that done? Uh, I thought I was. I thought I thought I was good, to be honest. But he came out of nowhere at the last second. Oh, you can pump that. You think you can get that? Yeah, I was in the corner when he drove. I thought I was just going to pass it. But then, but then you drove. I was like, oh, yeah, don't get him. Then he fouled you. I was like, really? You need to make these free throws. We need these. Did you guys notice the ball movement was better tonight? It seemed like it was moving around pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in practice, we've been uh, just swinging the ball fast. Can't hold the ball more than 1.5 seconds. So, uh, we just emphasized that and uh, just locked into the today as a team, and uh, everything came all good. And then, you had a good first half, uh, eight points, our career high pretty up, pretty quickly for you. A couple threes, just kind of always working for you there. And uh, just how was your confidence growing throughout the season, first season? I mean, my teammates were just fine to me. I was open along the corners, and they always double or triple team my big, so I'm always <laughs> open usually. So I just got to be ready to hit shots. So I just get that all to my teammates. Are you just like getting the ball and open over there? I mean, if they if I'm open, yeah, pass it to me, but it was just all of them and them passing me the ball. Keandre, good good performance from all the freshmen tonight that we're playing. Uh, is that kind of something you noticed tonight? Yeah, I think the last couple games freshmen have been uh starting and playing really well. They've been stepping up, taking a bigger role, you know, playing a lot of minutes, like twenty minutes, thirty minutes and stuff. So they've been playing really good and just gotta keep at it, keep working hard, keep learning every day. Jamal, was that like for you to come in and play 32 minutes? Uh, it feels good. I mean, I wanted to, ever since I got here, I just wanted to play. I just wanted to be in the game. So just me being in the game, especially with me being a freshman, be able to play 32 minutes a game and stuff like that. So just okay. me that coach trusts me. How's that freshman trio kind of working right now? I mean, you I mean we've got, been, we've been getting, Isaiah's been, he's been doing it uh, since conference. He's been getting it going for all of us, and we've just been watching him. So. Now we just got to get our confidence up, confidence up, and when we all do, it's just gonna be we're gonna be good. I wasn't for. I mean, of course, you and Isaiah had the relationship going back to high school. Did you guys, did you two, kind of have to adopt forward in, or just kind of have that work? Yeah, we adopted him, man. He kind of annoying sometimes, but <laughs> we yeah we adopted him, man. Yeah, there's a lot of teams that are really packed in tight there in the valley, and how important is it for you guys to just keep getting wins and keep fighting for position within the conference? Oh, uh, that's really important because like everybody's like kind of like got the similar record because it's like early, so we're just trying to execute, work hard, uh, play together as a team, and uh, just listen to what the coach is saying and just buy in. Keandre, uh, got asked about the headband. You gonna keep it, and where did it come from? Where did that uh, start? I got a little little braids going on here, so uh, might keep it for a little while. Never know. Just want to try something different. Yeah, keep it with See you, man. See you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I keep, keep it till we lose or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, proud of our guys. I thought we came out and had some juice, especially in the first half. 
made some shots and um, did, did some good things. Um, so midweek Valley game, good win. You guys go ahead. And no matter what's back? I mean, it's never left, um, but guys got to buy in. You know, it's never left. I mean, that's that's a good model for any team if you want to win. And, and um, But, yeah, defend no matter what is, is definitely something that should stick forever, you know, and it's just easier said than done because we didn't defend no matter what in the second half. So, so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to work on it. You guys seem to buy in, so when you're able to hang up signs in there, how, did you, were you behind putting – they said 200 signs around the locker room. Said well, I mean, I am the smartest guy in the room. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in the first half, uh, obviously, defense uh, held to 16 points. Yeah. You were letting them shoot out there, and they weren't making them. Just talking yeah. about the game and playing defensively there. Yeah, you know, we're, we're really not letting them shoot. we got to get better at this. And, and so, what we, we want them to settle, but it still needs to be contested. And we've got to get better at that. Now they, fortunately, they were missing. I mean, they were just, they were just missing a lot. You see, Freeman, he really struggled from threes, one of ten. But um, one of the things that we really have to stop doing is allowing people to get to our basket. And so our trade-off right now is the way we defend ball screens and try to force you to shoot it. But, but, but we have to now find a happy medium of contesting that shot, uh, not just giving people a clear look. Um, you know, they had an off shooting night. And, and we have a little bit to do with that. Don't get me wrong, but but, but we we got to get better at doing what we're doing. I thought Keandre had some tough plays tonight. It was just um, whenever the whenever uh, Valpo was able to get on a little run there in the second half, he would go try to drive and get to yeah. the line. If I, in the, you know, part of our game plan was get to the free throw line because they really pressure you and they try to shoot the gaps and they, they guard you toe to toe. And we, we felt like we could try to get downhill, and, and he was really locked in with that. And, and, um, that's not something that, that our group this year has been particularly good at. We, we've started to practice it a lot more. And uh, he, he was pretty good at that tonight. And, and I thought when he got around the basket, for the most part, he played all two feet. And, uh, you know, he stepped up and made his free throws. And the ball movement looked a little better tonight. Yeah, it's looking better each game. I mean, you know, we try to, try to hit the open man. And in the beginning of the second half, it, it didn't look very good. The ball started to stick. Uh, but, but to start the game, I thought the ball was really, really, really moving. You know, you know we're better when the ball's moving like that. Javante had eight points, six rebounds. Just talk about what you're seeing from him lately. You know, I mean, he, he's just such a, a great kid. He's so coachable. Um, he just does what you ask. He's starting to play with a lot more confidence. Um, he's just a joy to coach. You know, he, he gets better every day. Um, he's a great student. Um, and he's just a joy to coach. Um, it was, I was glad to see him step up and make some shots. He struggled earlier in the year from the field, and that's because he was – in such a limited role, in such limited time, that if he if his numbers weren't good shooting, he didn't get enough time to get them back, right? The way you get out of those slums, you have to be able to shoot more. And I think last five games, he's, he's really shot the ball respectably from three. And um, I'm, I'm happy to see him, him, him play well on, on both sides. Normally, defensively, he's pretty good, but, but it's good to see him play well on offense, too. Like Ford and Isaiah have their moments tonight too, just stepping up when you needed them to as well. Yeah, I thought in the first half those guys were good. Um, you know, they're just freshmen. They they have lulls, um, but you know, to go out there and compete, you know, 35 minutes for Zay and 25 for Ford, um, and that's not always easy, uh, especially 35 minutes. But but I think they they're doing a good job. You know, um, they're really they're really trying. You know, I mean that's. That's what you could ask for. They're really trying, and, and uh, our, our veteran guys did a good job too. You know, they came in and, and did a good job in, in their roles as well. You're just uh, a couple of games away. It seems, it seems hard to believe a couple of games away from being halfway through the the Valley race, and you look at the standings. Just so many teams bunched together there, and then Northern Iowa losing last night. Just just kind of talk about the dog fight, and then you being one of the dogs in the fight and, and struggling yeah. for position. I mean, how long how long have you covered the Bears? Long time. I mean, it's that way every year, yeah, right? The Valley. I mean, it's just this, you know, old, old Barry Henson. I, I know he's got some fans out there. He just said it's the Valley. I mean, I'm not trying to copy Barry, but um, he, he's right. <laughs> it's just the Valley. I, I mean, you know, it's hard to win on the road. We've been fortunate already to win two in a row, but then we give up two here. You know, um, we we um, we feel like we got a sh just as good a shot as anybody. Um, but but I think those top three teams right now have really proven their worth. 
like like Loyola and you and I and Bradley, they they've all had a, a slip up or two. But um, you know the rest of us are right there, you know, battling. This, that's why this game was big for us because we were, I want to say, tied with them coming in. This was our home game, and then that's why our next game at Drake is is the biggest game we've probably had. And you know, why he always chooses what game's the biggest around here. I don't know where he gets that from, <laughs> but the biggest game we've had since since I've been here is the next game, and that's Drake, and that's a that's a pretty big game. It was nice to see Tulio back today. Did you like him in that role with 20 minutes or just kind of even him back? Yeah, you know, obviously I want him to play more, um, and, and he will. We, we've just gone to this four-guard deal, and, and uh, he'll, 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 get, he'll continue to get into a groove. But um, it, it's good to have him back, yeah. Um, it was a year ago today that you guys beat Loyola by 35, and wow. it's the day that Josh Webster came in here with the no matter what mm -hmm. sign. Is there a coincidence to that, or is it just because you have two completely different teams and you're finally being able to figure out everybody's strengths? It, it, it's not a coincidence. See, what happened was I think someone sent me a stat last night of, of what our record is whenever we hold an opponent to a certain amount of points. And um, I don't think we have a problem scoring because we, we got some talented offensive players. But but um, if, if we want to win, we got to defend. And, and Considering that, that that has been around here and that's not something that's formed that could kind of stick. You know, as a coach, you're always looking for what sticks. And then, I mean, it stuck last year. Now we're trying to get it to stick again this year. I, I think in the first half it stuck, to be honest. Um, but again, if we want to be in this race, we have got to guard somebody. I mean, you're not going to score your way to a Missouri Valley Championship. I mean, as much as a fan base might want that, that just ain't happening. And, and so we have to defend no matter what if we want to kind of, you know, get on up in that race a little bit. And it's, it's hey, it's now or never. This middle six, it's now or never. If, if you're going to get there, you're going to get there right now, or you ain't going to get there. Always going to ask to play on January 23rd? Hmm? You always going to ask to play on January 23rd? No. Is that what today's the yeah, 23rd? Right. Let's see. Let's see. I told Tim Doyle, he asked me, you know, have you tried anything to get your team to play well? First of all, he hadn't watched every game, so he don't know. <laughs> By the way, I'm his friend, so I can say this. I said, well, the last thing I can try is you coming back in town, because last year when you came to watch our team, it, it turned our team around. So he was here again today. Maybe, maybe he's yeah. the key. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations.